Greetings everybody! Well, that music is kind of sad. Whatever, welcome to Westport Independent. As you can see, a game about censorship, corruption and newspapers. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, when I saw this game on Steam, uh, it reminded me of Papers, Please. Uh, the graphics look very much alike. And well, I thought, well, I should give it a try. Um, I will be playing as the editor of the last independent newspaper in a country uh, after the Second World War. Well, after a war, and I think it's the Second World War, so let's jump in. Oh yeah, yeah, it is, it is after the Second World War, 1948, but uh, I have no clue which country? Well, it's in a town called Westport. So, Westport Independent. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into the game. Uh, let's do that. Your game will be saved automatically between each week. Wonderful. Okay. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, groups, businesses, places, events, and incident are uh, either the products of all sorts of imagination, blah blah blah. It's as usual, this is totally fictional. By the way, I should have started with that. <coughs> Whatever. Message from the Loyalist Government. What is the public culture book? comes into force on the 16th of May 1949, sorry, will improve the quality of independent media outlets. Okay, uh, guidelines for independent media outlets to follow. Okay, uh, mandatory for independent media outlets to join the Loyalist News and Media Association, LMMA. Okay, um, what is your responsibility until the bill comes into force? Do not print deceitful, deceitful content that may harm the appearance of our country. Do not print uh, deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the loyalist government. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the president. Do not print deceitful content that may glorify the acts of rebels or other criminals. Oh, he's talking. Oh, he's talking in the back. Oh, didn't realize that. Okay. Is it just me or is he hard to understand? Whatever. Okay, yeah. Okay. Seriously, the projector is way too loud. But uh, maybe I should take a look for subtitles. Hmm. Week there are twelve weeks weeks left until the public culture ball and so on. Okay. You've got mail. Uh, um, let's take a look and let's go with VR. Yeah. Dear Editor, Phil has been putting up more loyalist propaganda in the office. You know, I can't stand this shit, so I decided to pull it down. It should be on your desk together with this note, Frank. Okay, so Frank is not a fan of the loyalists. That's okay. So that should be the loyalty, morality, and propriety. And of course, always remember, England prevails. Uh, Whatever. These are the bases of civilized society. Um, yeah, sure. 
Good. Seriously? Seriously. Reminds me of V. Uh, denied article. Okay, tutorial article one. Censoring. These are my... Julie, known for having dark form opinions of the government. Went to college, community college, worked aboard a freelance writer. Okay. Comfort, opinion. She's pro rebel. Loyalist suspicion. She's trusted. Okay. Phil. Take a look at Phil. Loyalist supporter. Yeah, we know that. Uh, lives in the Western District. Lived with disabled brother. Went to private college. Comfort is. Mediocre, definitely pro-loyalist, and no suspicion at all. Frank lives alone, no college education, lives by the Eastern factories, opposed to loyalists before they came into power. Oh my god, my friend, you've got a problem. Hang on, a loyalist, the suspicion is rather high to begin with. Well, whatever. Okay, so mediocre comfort. And pro rebel. Anne, a uh, parent, lives by the use of factories, married, went to community college, pro loyalist, no suspicion, and a mediocre result as well. What is that? So, this is these are the uh, loyalist rebels, probably. People's opinion, pro loyalist, yeah. Loyalist suspicion, none. Sounds good. Popularity, N V E S, Northwest East, because. Western Districts, Eastern Factories, Western Districts, Eastern Factories, yep. Where's she living? Where's Julie living? Western, Eastern, Eastern. Okay, so these are the... Yeah, let's begin. Take a look. Tutorial article, censoring. One of the game's main mechanics is censoring articles. You do this by clicking on paragraphs that seem inappropriate. When censored, that content that won't be shown to the public will affect neither their opinion nor the government's suspicion of you. You can also, sh also change the headlines by clicking on it. Different headlines can change the portrayal of an artifact. So, okay, so... Uh, maybe I should start with something um, out of the game. This game is about censoring. It's not possible to be not political in this game, so I should warn you, I, it might happen that I will tell you my political opinion. If this would annoy you, best leave now, wish you a fine day, otherwise stick with me, so on. Okay, let's start with centering. One of the game's main mechanics is centering articles. Um, probably, I would say, this is an article they don't want, and uh, no, not in the article, and this is not an article. Probably they also don't want to call it censoring, but... Okay, interesting. Yeah, let's stick with that. Sounds good. So how do I... Okay, um... Yeah. How do... What do I do with it now? You can also change the headline by clicking on it. Uh, that sounds good. Wonderful. Uh, tutorial article. Employees. Tutorial article. Employees. Let's see. The, this part is about your employees. <laughs> mm, I think we can stick with that. When you have censored an article, it needs to be transcribed. To do this, put it on one of the name folders. Ah, okay. To the bottom right. So I have to give it to one. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, okay. So don't blame them if you if they don't wish to follow you into death. Yeah, sounds good. Um, censored, so it should be censored. Uh, let's take that too. We will take a look later about that. Who will give that to whom? Loyalist government pursues harsher actions against suspected rebels. What was that sound? Okay. Um, loyalist government attacks the privacy of civilians. Uh, okay, what is... Mm, actually, yeah, what is mine? Probably it's mine, so... No, fuck you. No censorship. Seriously, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, no censorship. Um, sounds good. A new reform has passed that will hasten the arrests of several 
rebel supporters. Sounds good. The reforms consist of except exceptions in various privacy laws allowing police pol police to expel. Mm. This is post-war. I, th I mean, uh, just three years ago uh, in Germany they had all those. Apply to extremely with relations to. Hmm. However, some exceptions also apply to civilians who have expressed disloyal opinion against the government. Okay, um. Tax and property of civilians. New reform. Sounds good. The reform consists of exceptions and various privacy laws allowing police to, police to expedite such search warrants. No problem with that. Most of these exceptions apply to ex-criminals, but uh, actually there's no problem with that. No, sounds good. To me, uh, public culture bill has been passed. Let's see what this is about. Uh, let's see. New bill has been passed, forces independent media outlets to shut down. Public culture bill that the government presented last year has today been passed. The purpose of the new bill is to stop the creation, distribution of incorrect and improper content. It will force independent media outlets to... Okay, let's just for fun keep it like this. Uh, probably we, will, we have to start again um, in just a short time. So, she is Loyalist Suspicion. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so um, Frank was the yeah. Okay, so let's let's really uh, yeah. Let's let's keep it like that and give it to Phil. Let's take a look. Uh, checks the privacy of civilians. We have another one who's... No, she's, she's loyalist. She can attack the privacy of civilians. Let's change that. Ah, oh, sounds good. And give it to Anne. Okay, this part is about employees. Give it to Julie. And sounds good. And set to print. Yeah, let's... Let's try! Let's try! Ah, Frank, you know I've been never big, been a big fan of the loyalist government, but the public culture bill is even worse than I expected. Phil, don't blame it on the government, blame it on yellow journalism and the blatant lies that some newspapers post these days. There's nothing good about misinformed public. Frank, well, yeah, sure, but you do realize how much power the government will have over the media with this. Really? Oh come on, I will not do it. I agree with Frank on this one. I can't see how the public culture bill would be beneficial for anyone but the government. While media outlets like ourselves have a scary amount of power over people's opinions. But on the other hand, I don't think that giving that power to the government is a great idea either. Yeah? Sure, of course, we have a lot of power over people's opinions, because they read it and we are their uh, source of information. But uh, centralized? Seriously? Uh, not a good idea. Week one. Eleven weeks left. Till the cover comes into force. Okay. Old papers. Southern ducks. Okay. Opinion. Okay, so the southern ducks are more rebels. More. Tend to more uh, no no district is uh, pro rebel, but the southern dogs they 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 are quite close, quite close to the rebels, quite close. Okay, uh, this bar illustrates their sales last week. Okay, wonderful. The container represents the people of that district. This container, okay. Uh, the light bar. Illustrates how many of those papers that were sold. Okay, this. So, uh, okay. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. Sounds good. The P 
people's opinion will affect your sales as well. Likewise, as a well-selling paper will also affect the people's opinion. Okay, so they influence me, and I influence them. Okay, so I sold papers. Uh, loyalists plus one rebel. People's political opinion. Okay, ah, uh, loyalist suspicion of you plus one. Just one. Your paper's total popularity plus nineteen. Sounds good. Okay, you've got mail. Let's see. There's nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. In a world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture is for your protection. Loyalty, morality and propriety. And as always, England prevails. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I've got... So, okay. Um, I've got seven more possible articles, but only four John journalists. So... Uh, to, let's start with something easy. New plans to add fluoride to drinking water. The Department of Sanitation announced today its intention to add fluoride to the water supply. This is due to research showcasing the substance's ability to decrease chances of cavities. Um, I'm sorry guys, um, I'm not a native speaker so I will have to look up the word so don't. Um, I'm really sorry about it. That's research on fluoridation uh, still ongoing. This would make Westport one of the few places in the world to adopt it. Cavities, cavities, what the fuck is cavities? Give me cavities. I'm sorry for my language. If you've got a problem with me cursing, uh, let me know. I will ignore it. Um, ah. What? Cavities. Probably something medical. Okay, uh, sounds good. Uh, sounds not good. Government adds untested substances to drinking water. Uh... Oh, hmm. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, this is a rather positive article. Um, this makes it rather negative. So, uh, I want to sell stuff. Okay. Actually, I think that, that one... I could take that out and make it like do this, and then the uh, yeah. Uh, but actually, right at the, at the moment, I do not fear for my life. Um, I'm sorry, but fear for your life is kind of the point why. Uh, journalists and so on while well, they get into line and whatever uh, so let's take it like that let's let's leave it like that uh, 28 people arrested for protesting 20 people were arrested in protest near Wurmbers Park the rally was against the public culture bill which will come into force later this year the situation took a violent turn as the protesters resisted arrest by arriving officers uh, the protest ceased after police backup arrived is not so Am I a rebel? No, I'm a journalist. I report the news. So Actually, I can live with that. No, seriously I can live with that. Great really improved medical care in state hospitals thanks to new regulations. Uh, a new study claims that the state of local hospital has improved over the last few months. Who did the study? Uh, it states that medical services have improved since the hospital administration fee doubled earlier this spring. Okay, so... Uh, the Governmental Medical Association conducted the study. Mm. Uh, 
Uh. State hospitals. Actually, uh, yeah, kind of boring. Oh, movie star has gained weight. Movie star get fat. Blame scale, man. Oh, what the fuck? According to anonymous source, renowned movie star Harold Finn has recently put up some weight. When interviewed, the movie star acknowledged the weight gain. It, I blame my scales. Act a joke if they act a joke. If they had just stayed beneath my feet more often, I would have noticed sooner. Scale manufacture. Uh, yeah. Actually, I don't care for that. Rumerville Industries, although that's a fucking movie star. But people like to to read about movie stars. Okay, so um, back to that one. Rumerville Industries. Steel mill implicated in terrorism charges. The Rumerville Industries are facing new issues, this time implications of terrorism. Uh, the investigation into the recent bombings found traces of material from Rumerville-owned factories. Uh, Rumerville have denied this, uh, stating that they have no affiliation with any rebel group. Our company cannot take responsibility for single Individual set as representative. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, we take that one directly to Phil. We can get that, we can do that. Man attacks police officer. Man attacks police officer. One teenager was caught writing rubble messages on walls close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerboy who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived on the... Okay... Um... Police officer presses charges. Let's do that and... No, let's do that and give it to... What was... Cheese. Okay. Okay, sure. Um... Why? What's your problem? Cheese parent. What's your problem with that? Okay, let's change it and um you Bill got another story for you. Let's do that. Oh my god, what the problem with it? It's the fucking news. Come on, okay, let's fill uh Seriously? Someone has to do it! Uh, Frank? He will do that? Uh, okay, wonderful. Although I don't want you to... Uh... Okay, seriously we have to... Now you don't want to do that. Okay. Ugh, Wants to force propaganda on press. Last night discussed his upcoming plans for Westbrook's press and the plan. The chairman stated that the, he wanted to introduce mandatory public information slots. These slots would be used by the government to spread information, important information to the public. The chairman means that this will keep the public well informed at all times. Uh, fight well, well informed public. Yeah, that sounds good. Here, come on, Phil, you can do that. Oh, no, no, let's give it to Japan. Okay, this is seriously, um, but let's. I really want that. I want that one? Yeah? No, 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 let's keep that. Uh. Well, let's do that, Judy. Okay, I'm hope, I hope you will. Um. Right? No.
I don't know. Earth Monster Rebels. I don't know. Okay, let's let's do the movie star. Come on, Phil, you can do the movie star. Um <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Come on, okay, let's do it. I think I've got a good mixture. So Phil, how are you? You didn't show up to work. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, I was just a bit preoccupied. You need someone to drive him to the doctor. Oh, your brother, how is he? Uh, but I suppose the doctors say he can move his toes now. They still aren't sure when he will be able to walk again, though. What did happen? Okay. Week two. Yay. And weeks left. Ooh, fast game. Okay. Um... Actually, it would be nice to see how I... How many I sold last time. Okay, so they are more rebellious. They are really loyalist. Um, how did it change? Seriously, I would like to see how did it change. But okay. Okay, 2 plus 2 rebel, minus 8. Ah, very good. They believe in me. Yes, and plus four. Now here you can show me the change. Oh, wonderful. Your paper's total popularity. Wonderful, wonderful. They... Very good. You've got mail. Oh, this looks like government. Dear editor, as you're probably aware by now, when we were finally able to stop the notorious Northern Herald from spreading their lies to the public, we were also forced to shut down the affiliated marketing agency. As it so happens, your paper, the Westport Independent, used the same agency. This means that from now on, you'll have to take care of the advertising yourself. Additionally, uh, because of your affiliation with perpetrators, we will be keeping a close eye on you for the time being. The Loyalist Party of Westport. But they trust me. 1949. I thought it's 1948. Whatever. Here, come on. Night articles. No? No? Okay, please. Can, can I print that? <laughs> can I print that? No, I cannot. Okay. So, they trust me. Um, hmm. Really, what's, what's the western part? Okay. Western districts. What is it? What is it? Western district. Yeah, no, I, I want to know what the Western district is. Can I smoke a cigarette? Oh my god. Okay, removal industries laser 400. Oh boy, oh, that's bad. Rebels assault paper boy, burn you shit. What? Uh, first legal casino in the Western districts. New presidential biography promises the true story of his rise to power. Uh, okay. Government... Government burns book in Liberty Square. What the fuck? Christ Gunman's murderous family of four. The Northern Herald shuts his door. Okay, so I want that one. Government burns books in Liberty Square. Yesterday, Liberty Square lit up as police officers started burning books. The event was the result of months of collecting books from various libraries and stores. The collected books were more... Supporting anti-government sentiments. Uh, some protesters arrived at the scene, but were easily held back by a police. Uh, by police, government prevents spreading of rebel propaganda. No, we. I want that. I like that. I like that. Uh, cause actually, uh, 70 years ago, 60, 60, 70s. No, 70 years ago. Oh, it's already 70 years ago. Uh, in Germany, t the same. And it's not a good idea. Books should never be burned. Uh, let's do that. Um, do that to O oh, Bogration. Uh, N, can you do that? Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, Northern Herald shuts its doors. Today, after almost a century of publication, ooh, the popular magazine The Northern Herald released its final issue. Its sudden dismemberment was due to violations of the guidelines set up in preparation for the Public Culture Board. 
the paper's marketer, which was responsible for advertising several of Westport's other independent newspapers, was also shut down. Um, this would be really hard. Let's do that and do that too. <laughs> What's the problem with it? Whatever. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Rumble Industries laid off 400 employees. Today, industrial giant laid off the personal cuts are a result of bad financial year for Rumble. We're sad to see so many great people go, said the CEO. When asked if the company's management has taken any pay cuts in light of recent losses, no comments were received. Ah. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a bad story. Um, maybe? I don't know. Um, this morning a paper delivery for the Eastern Journal was interrupted by a group of masked figures. The paper would try to intervene. But was overpowered and salted. The truck was left vandalized, sprayed with spirits, including class traitors and loyalist dogs. The journal recently had policy change by deciding to support the new people fight back against censorship and lies. Wonderful, uh, Phil. Can you do that? Oh my God, you can do that. Wonderful. Um. What is the what is the cheese behind it? Seriously, uh, the cheese is out there, and I would really like to know it, but I do not have enough information. Listen, if I go just with these information, so it's um, I'm missing a bit. I I know the well, the law is to uh, monopolize. The information but there's always a second story uh, I don't know what what the rebels are fighting for problem yeah they're probably fighting for for rights for human rights for civil rights but... where are we it's post-war I mean uh, yeah whatever class traitors loyalist dogs Paperboy tried to intervene but was overpowered and assaulted. Uh, actually, let's leave it out. Today, construction broke ground on the new Aurora Casino in the Western District. The Aurora will be first legal casino in Westport, will bring a lot of new jobs to the city. Sounds good. Protest recently hit the site due to the owner's affiliation with the vile Rex gang. So, uh, to pro the protest was broken up by security and delegations have not been addressed. Evil Drug funded casino. Okay. Um. So, there have been protests in the Western District. Um, it's not said that they were rebels. So, let's strike that. And let's hope that I will get a bit more teacher layout. Oh, oh, lay oh, layout. Okay, so I will get a bit more popularity with... Uh, Let's go with... Uh, come on! Bill! Can't give this to... Okay. Julie, you've got to do that. Okay, Phil, what will you do? Just a bit, come on. Um... For the rise to power. Today, the president's new biography with the will and per per perseverance was released. The biography has been said to be the most faithful re retelling of the president's past into politics. So far, however, it has received some mixed criticism regarding its actual accuracy. Uh, 
In the biography, the president takes credit for several reforms made by his predecessors. Um, um, would not be a good idea, I think. Okay, I need some... Okay, I definitely need... Uh, um, a story so that the loyalists will have no suspicion about me. Um, so either uh, more jobs, which I just turned into a drug-funded casino, or fight back against censorship and lies. Uh, let's take that one and give it to Frank. Wait, let's take a look. It's sudden this middleman was due to violations set up in... Uh, no, okay, let's, let's do it like that. I would like to have that one on the front page. Can I do that in layout? Let's hope. Okay, and I need another one... Uh, for Phil. Phil, Phil, my friend. Phil. Phil, Phil, Phil. You are... Um, can you do that? No? Not yeah, bad. Uh, so you probably will not do that. Um, how are you? Um, you are not... Yet. There's no suspicion about you. Can you... You can do that. Okay, perfect. Uh, people... Can you do that? No? Can you do that one? Uh, not either. Okay. Uh, you got a family, yeah. Uh, this parent. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she, hmm, she will probably not want to talk about that. Uh, okay. Seriously, I need. Okay, pick up. Oh, perfect. Pick articles from here, drag them to an empty page in the paper. Okay, headline. Yup, yeah. yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, back, back, back. Where can I move back? Yeah. How can I? Oh, okay, clicking here. Good. Western Heralds. Sounds good. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -boom. Let's go with that. Wonderful. And then that. And on the last page, new books. Wonderful. Okay, marketing. Drag slider to change your marketing focus between the different districts. Uh, Oh, like this. Okay. Um, gritty news for Gritty Sailor. Okay. Uh, let's go with 20. And... Um, actually, why, sh why should I change it? I want to... Yeah, one newspaper for everyone. Sounds good. Actually, seriously, sounds good. Uh, oh, now I see. Okay, so uh, they like celebrity news and industry news. Okay, they like uh, crime news, celebrity news. They like uh, societal news and industry news, which is like this. Okay, and crime and. Um, okay, let's go. The Worker Magazine. Yeah, wonderful. Let's go with that. Uh, let's go with uh, 30%. And 15 Yeah, 15 and that should be 52 sensational <laughs> scoops surrounding superstars um, Yeah, why not? Let's try 
Pass through the southern darks on my way home to pick. Oh, sorry, Frank. Pass through the southern darks on my way home to pick up some stuff for my friend. My gosh, that plate just become more run down every year. I'm surprised you even dare to go there. There's just so many criminals there who will rock you blind if you make a single mistake. Oh, that's. It's not that bad. I've walked through there, uh, though. I've walked though there through there before, and while it's a rowdy place to say the least, personally I've never been attacked. I've got to agree with Phil on this one. I had friends who've been assaulted there, so there's no way I, oh the newspaper boy, so there's no way I go near that place without reliable company. Hmm, a woman probably shouldn't walk alone in those parts of the city, anyways. A woman should be able to walk alone anywhere without fear for her life. Yes. But not in this country. Censorship in is arriving in nine weeks. Uh, let's take a look. Doom, doom, doom. Sounds good. My godness. Six in. Oh god! Um, maybe I should have put the president on the front page. And. Okay, I definitely need something for the president. Uh, uh, what have I done? Okay, and it's okay. Oh, he's not good. Uh, interesting. Um, the loyalists have now have a problem. Problem with Bill, and well, they have a problem with everybody except Ben. Whatever. Okay, let's take a look. Local factory hires scabs. Ah, local shelf factory announced today its intention to bring women into the workplace. Sounds good. The owner described this as both uh, with the times and cost effective. Okay, this announcement came shortly after a massive strike against the company's dangerous working environment. There's always somebody right for the job. Uh, So, um, can I can I make it in a local factory hires women because it's no one wants to work there anymore? No, uh, I cannot do that. Okay. Scabs. What the fuck? I like that. A fire in an apartment complex. Boring! A fire erupted last night in an apartment complex between the southern docks and the western districts. During the two hours it took to extinguish, the blaze 42 apartments were damaged to the point of being uninhabitable. The survivors had to move in with friends and family as the city is yet to provide aid. Wonderful. People left homeless after fire. Um, got a problem with that. Um, probably the loyalists will have a problem with that. Taxes to be lowered thanks to government effort. Uh, a new proposal by the loyalist government will lower the taxes for high income earners. This is. Uh, high income earners. Yeah. This decrease will affect the economic support of public schools and hospitals. Yeah. The loyalist government believes in rewarding hard work, however, the current taxation does just the opposite. The president. But yeah, uh, education for everyone? Uh, education and healthcare for everyone? No? I mean, hospitals? Seriously? Next day. Government cuts economic support for public schools and hospitals to make the rich richer. Sounds good! Sounds good! Uh. Will. Give me. Uh, we'll probably shut down my newspaper. Uh, but. Uh, let's keep it with that for the moment. Oh my god, new movie featuring renowned movie star upsets the association, oh, association of respectability and social sensibility. The new film Lovers of the Southern Skies featuring renowned actor Harold Finn premiered last week. Oh, the one who took on weight. Uh, the movie is about a pilot who comes under the care of a local girl after crashing his plane outside her town. Oh. While mostly praised, uh, the ARSS. A R M the S S uh, panned the film for its mature content. The biggest criticism is of a basing theme, bathing theme, uh, which suggests nudity. 
Uh, Vile Erotica. Um, so, this might be pro government. Um, actually, am I too stupid for being an editor? Probably. Otherwise, I would do. Mercury found a fish from the southern docks. This morning, a shipment of fish from the docks was found to contain a dosage of mercury, Ew, exceeding the national guidelines. Due to the potential health hazard, the shipment was confiscated. Uh, medical officials, however, confirmed that the dosage is still below lethal amounts. The public is advised to avoid purchasing docks from. Actually, this. We can do that. Could kill you. No, actually, we can we can do that. And um, that's one for him. Um, um, bombing by the Southern Dogs took place by the Southern Dogs last night. Placed inside a small liquor store, the bomb detonated. Three people were injured. Two were found dead. Or rest suspect rebel involvement. Okay, I really need new presidential statute planned for Central Westport. Today the government announced a new statue of the president for Liberty Square in Central Westport. The estimated cost, what the fuck, three... This can't be right. Three million... L dollars? I don't know. It's a beautiful symbol of our strength and unity. Um... <laughs> okay, let's let's take that one. Okay, so we need one for the government. And um, actually, let's do that for Phil. What? Why? Seriously? You can't do that? Why? Okay, let's do that. Phil, can you do it now? Yeah, now you can do it. You've, you've got a problem with three million? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, um... Uh, let's do it like this and do it... Uh, no, too high. Do it, can you do it? No. Um... Text us to be it, and you can do that. And I need something. Um, is it okay this morning? My phone to can contain a such of mercury. Yeah. No, it's okay. Could kill you. Actually, it's, it's just okay. Uh, need one for Frank. Uh, should not be too suspicious. And yeah, hmm, Frank, not be not too suspicious. Mm, okay. Need to check a word again. Sorry, not a native. Scabs! What scabs? Yeah, whatever. Let's not do that. Uh, come on. Ooh! Oh, oh, these are. Ooh, scabs. Okay. Uh. Um. Okay, this will probably not a good idea for Frank. Uh, Frank. No college education. Live by the Eastern Factories. What? Oh, by the way. Eastern Factories. You like... What do you like? What's... What's... What's factories? Probably... Aren't they uh, into uh, social stuff and so on? Oh, yeah. Um... You Harold Finn. Uh, no, let's not do that. 
Uh, that's Frank, come on, you can do that. Okay. Uh, proceed to layout. Okay, we need. Um. Hmm. This is programming. We can do that. Okay. Um. Although. Wild erotica. I'm good on the first page. Uh, and for Central Westport. Ah, that sounds good too. Jacks it's lowered and um, Mercury found in fish. Okay, so we have no crime at all this time. New hardboiled stories for every day. Uh, we have that. So let's go again with 40%. Um, uh, we have that. You like that? Both like, okay, so... Twenty... 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 Just the same again. Let's go down here and up here. No, let's go down there and... Let's do it like this. Newspaper for everyone. Yeah, I, w I want to do that. Newspaper for everyone. And have you guys seen the new Harold Finn movie? I hope so. No, not yet. Uh, I've seen it. Me and a couple of friends saw it a few weeks ago. Bill, I was surprised that they dared to keep such suggestive themes with the public culture bill soon coming into force and all. Yeah, probably a movie to be burned. In Liberty Square again. Not only. Although they should not do that. Burning... Movies is, can be can be dangerous. Watch, uh, watch that yeah, Tarantino. Come on. Oh God, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, best. What's watching all these uh for that? Don't be such a stiff person. I didn't find anything wrong with the movies bending off sexual themes. Oh, I don't think such things are proper material to happen in a movie. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Week four. Eight weeks left until Public Culture Ball comes into force. Let's take a look. Popularity. Oh, I didn't sell that much. It's not good. By the way, um, it doesn't matter at all how much I sell. So I'm making my money anyway. I can pay everything anyway. Ah, perfect. Oh, come on. Shit. Okay. Plus two rebels. Sounds good. Do I have to reach that? Or oh. trusting they are not suspicious anymore, but I'm not popular anymore. Oh god. The government again. Two oh what the Janitor, one of your employees, uh, Julie, has for the last few weeks created content for a paper that can only be described as disloyal. Her frivolous behavior of jumping from nest to nest had made her lose sight of her roots. Oh god. Uh, oh. Um. Okay. And I have mind must be taught the position she is in. If not, punishment will fall on both of your heads, the loyalist party of Westbrook. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, lower taxes because your money belongs to you. We in the uh, government believe that us stealing your money for taxes is wrong. We also feel it wrong that you should pay more just because you earn more. That's why we lower the taxes. Let people choose what to pay for. Okay, can I do that? No, I can. Join the president's birthday celebration. The annual celebration of the president's birthday is here. Join us at the parade by... Uh, okay. So, um... Julie. Okay, I need to give her some stuff. Bill is not so okay. His his suspicion went down. I hope. Okay. So, um, um, um. Yeah, that sounds good. 
the city is as lively as ever in preparation for the president's birthday next week. The parades are planned for the celebrations as well as festivals at the square. According to reports, the cost for the event has so far exceeded 12 million lulz. Uh, we need to do Julie. Um, you can do that. Although, like, 12 fucking millions! They are wasting money! Well, they probably are sending it to Switzerland for keeping it in their own pockets. But shh! Don't tell anyone! Uh, Rumerville Industries Movies moved branch headquarters to Westport. Branch has announced their intentions to move their headquarters to Westport. Removal claims the move to be the starting point of the industrial giant's plan of localizing their businesses to the city. Uh, swing of jobs. Um, I don't know. What's the problem with that news? Riots in Southern Docks. Uh, yesterday a small riot erupted in Southern Docks. The mob smashed windows set fire to trash cans. Police tried to intervene, but were quickly... Ooh, what the fuck? Ended after backup arrived. Uh... Um... Bill, can you do that? You can do that. And? And can do that. Okay, let's take a look. Small right? It's okay. Uh, small sma the mob smashed windows, set fire to trash cans. Okay, no problem with that. Police tried to intervene, but were quickly overpowered by the riders. Not so good for the police, but... The rider ended after backup arrived and eight people were arrested. Um... Actually, there's no problem with that. And you can do that. What the? What? Okay, um... Oh. Uh, factory explosion shakes Eastern District. A tragedy struck last night as a local factory exploded in the Eastern District. Several of us were left injured and casualties already number in the hundreds. Removal management claims that this was due to an accident involving chemical compounds. Police believe otherwise with suspicion of rebel involvement. Um, so... The police wants to blame the rebels. Um, we not send that. Let's take a look. Uh, can you do that? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, I could try to... Nope, no, let's not send that. No, send that. Right in the southern docks. Uh, let's do that. And Frank, I need something to get the people of your... Sorry, Frank, but I believe you will be I uh, movie guy. <laughs> Starlet flees crumbling marriage into the arms of Costa. Oh, God. Carol Miller discusses upcoming movie. In an interview yesterday, Starlet uh, discussed her role in upcoming movie, uh, upcoming musical Sunny Days. During the interview, Miller spoke highly about the cast and close to Harold Flynn. Harold's a great actor, dear friend. It's been a hoot working with him. Miller, however, lamented that it gave her less time to spend with her husband. This is a lie. This is just a clear lie. Although it would sound good, whatever. We need to do that. I'm sorry. Um, let's take a look. Discuss the safety of Westport. During the conference, he discussed how uh, rebel activities cause harm to the public. They have been hit worse. Actually, it's totally boring. I mean, yeah, the. Ugh. 
and that's I'm running. Bar brawl in the Western District. Last night a fight broke out at a bar in Western District. The fight involved six people who, according to testimony, were all heavily intoxicated. Knives and broken bottles were used, leaving four of those involved with minor injuries. The fight soon stopped after the police arrived. Boring. Just boring. Just a bar brawl. My god, what's the problem with it? Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. President, but the factory comes first. Um, discuss this upcoming movie, then we can do that on the last page. Uh, then we take that, we do that there, and that there. And let's take a look, and it's actually a newspaper for everyone. New hard-boiled stories, I want newspaper for everyone. Uh, okay, let's do it. 25. 25. 25. And 20. 26? No. 25. 25. Newspaper for everyone. Let's do it. One newspaper for everyone. Uh, Jenny, how do you plan on spending your day during the president's birthday? I don't really know. I don't really plan joining the celebration, so I guess I'll just stay at home. Uh, me and my husband are taking my son to see the parade. I also plan on stopping by the parade. It's going to be held not too far from my apartment, after all. Wonderful. Week 5. Seven weeks left. Until the public culture ball comes into force. What is my... Oh, wonderful. Okay, they like me. Um, I've got no... Okay, so I think this moved a bit to the left. Uh, I've got no clue. Um, I've got no clue. Actually, would be nice to see how it changed. Okay. Ah, damn it. Not what I wanted. Minus 11 and plus 6. So they like me more, but... Okay, the loyalists did not suspect anything. Wonderful. Trust in numbers, not in government. In a world where information is controlled by those in power, trust should be put in the people, not in authorities. Join the rebellion today. Workers against oppressors, numbers against class. Okay. Good. Okay, she's good. He's a bit better. No suspicion after all, and uh, I think they're moving slightly more towards the... Okay. A uh, new health study shows benefits of tobacco. According to a recent study, cigarettes might have many interesting effects on the human body. And the study subjects have displayed a larger tolerance to stress as well as lower blood pressure. Other effects include shortness of breath and the possible risk of cancer. Uh, let's say... <laughs> Bullshit! Uh, probably... Uh, yeah. Th no, this is total bullshit. Yeah, show smoking kills. Yeah. But actually, uh, this is really interesting. Can I put it there? No. Okay, let's put it directly there. That's not what I want. Police prevent attempted bombing. Uh, yesterday a bomber was prevented from arming a large supply of explosives outside the government office. This occurred in a small van parked outside the building. The perpetrator, perpetrator was caught by a security guard who found the van suspicious. A local rebel group are believed to be a behind the incident. Rebels suspected of attempting bombing of government offices. Um, Interesting. Today, Carol Muller announced her divorce from her husband, Johnny Mattelli. Uh, this came after two trying months of marriage due to personal difference. Their relationship was further strained, Miller said, due to various unfounded rumors. It's been nothing short of a nightmare. Oh my god, this is a story for Frank! Uh... Yeah, hey Frank! There you go. Um, last night police shut down a local brothel. According to statements, police have long suspected the location. All patrons have been arrested. 
Witnesses claims to have heard one of the women pleading that they have already paid for protection. Police shut down. Or not paying bribes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, presents celebrated all over protests on the pre Oh, wait, wait. Uh, presents birthday was celebrated all over Westport. The parades were held in Liberty Square in the northern suburbs. At the same time, protesters and rebel sympathizers marched by the southern docks. The riots were broken up by police and 14 people were arrested. Uh, I'll take that. And this is one that's for you, Phil. But... Still? Will you still do it? Yeah, we will still do it. It's what well, sounds good. Uh, some sort of celebration. Maybe it's a ritual. Maybe they maybe they do that in the southern docks. Let's burn stuff. For the president. Uh Okay. Uh, public interest pan Westport Theatre love letter to Tremble Pike. Uh, last night Westport Theatre companies is along the way to tradition of Harriet. However, public interest groups like the ARRS have protested its immoral casting choice. They refer to the choice of casting men on the roads of Greta and Olivia. And then it's over the horse's pathing. What? I know. I know. Well, is it Shakespeare? Or what? Harriet? Is it Hamlet? Richard and Olivia? No, no. Actually, I don't know. And it sounds. Price of root expected to rise this year. Oh, this is not good. A recent projects a stark increase in the price of root vegetables this year. Claims that with last year's poor crops and this year's drought, a scarcity of root vegetables is expected this year as well. This is also expected to increase the demand for other foods, ex affecting those prices as well. Mm. Oh, this sounds good. Um, this one is for the family. Do I want to censor something? Recent report. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um. Uh, wait. Come on, Julia, you can do it. Um. Okay, so this is last page. Sorry, Frank. Protest on the President Day. Uh, yeah, that's probably first page. Uh. Second and third. That's good. Okay. Um. Why? Don't you just prime? Okay, industrial celebrity. I need a bit more. Actually, uh, no newspaper for everyone. One newspaper for everyone. Westport Independent. I'm the last newspaper. Well, I think I will be staying for. Oh, it's a chili. Oh, I, th I think I will be staying off seafood for a while. Uh, they couldn't have had worse timing either. We just bought eight pounds of fresh fish that we now have to throw in the trash. Well, to be fair, anything uh, has actually managed to survive in the river. This could probably outlast the hydrogen bomb. Ah, oh, sounds good. Uh, yeah, I've heard that workers at the factories are told to dump whatever waste they can find in that river. And you don't want to make a story out of that? I've noticed some of the factories around our apartment looks and smell even worse than the southern dark sewers. Uh, where do you live again? Whatever. 